This is Cap, and this is Baby Girl. Baby Girl <laughs> from I Like the Games. I liked the games. It's I like, not I, I liked, like the. I like the games. Da da da. Say the, I said the. You said I like to. I like the games. Now, I gotta pick this guy. Because he's always like absolutely 100% one of my favorites. Because he's like the nerdy guy that can still fight people. What did you pick? The Blue Ranger. Well, he's always my favorite. But, I don't know, I really liked Chilo for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> But see how he fights? Like you. What? Like me. Shut your mouth. No, his arms aren't down. Look, look. <laughs> That's a you move. Yeah, he, did, then he, he has to like strike like that. It's like... He's like a bad guy, but then also he's worried about his peanut butter allergies. <laughs> So, this isn't game related or like anything to do with what we're doing. This is just a random fact because I feel like giving you a random fact about me. I want to try kimchi. What is kimchi? It's a popular Asian dish. Oh, excuse me. I feel like I know about that, like I've heard about it, but I just uh, can't think of what it actually is. Like, it sounds From, super familiar. Like, what I understand, it's cabbage with, like, some spices, and it can be spicy. It's, like, cabbage and radishes. But they also have, like, a cucumber kimchi, and, like, different kimchi, but I want to try the... The, um, original kimchi? So which famous person did you see try it? Because, I mean, it's, that's really the only reason to try new things. Because you want to be cool. You know what I mean? It's not a famous person. It's just a... A TikTok person? This girl... Her on TikTok? I don't know if I can say her name on this. Can I say her name on this? What is it? Is it TikTok? Uh, kind of. It's like the Facebook videos. So, yeah. That's just... I mean, you know, if it's not anybody that's directly connected to us, then yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows her. Her name's Sarah Kim. Kim Chi. <laughs> okay, I'm done. And... <laughs> well, her mom makes all these different types of kimchi, and they're amazing, and her mom's really sweet that I... From the videos I've seen. Her mom's really sweet and always making kimchi for her and her brother, and marinated crabs, which I want to try... But marinated crab, like just like crab meat that's marinated? Like crab in a shell. You don't even cook it. You like cut it off and you wash it. I don't know if it's cooked or not, to be honest. They buy it in a box. But you cook like, you cut like the pinchers off and part of the legs off. The, say it again? <laughs> the pinchers? <laughs> the pinchers. They get the pinchers off, and then they take marinade, which is very similar to, like, the kimchi, like, the original kimchi sauce, and they put it on the crab and let it sit for 24 hours, and then it's so soft whenever it's marinated. I'm not jumping around for no reason whatsoever. I just, I did a backflip, and I was trying to figure out how I did the backflip again. Go on with your kimchi. <laughs> She literally squeezes the meat out of the crab shell and sucks it out of the crab legs. Speaking of all that, you know what I don't know if you've ever had, but that I definitely want to have, uh, that I happen to see some uh, relatives of yours having recently, is a whole mess of crawdads. We, my family, don't do crawdads. They, two of them do. Because I seen it. I saw photographic evidence of that shit. Who? Isn't that the whole point of me not saying people's names? The babysitters? Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, they do. Do we just, we nix them out of the family just recently? But, no, you let me <laughs> They went on vacation. They went out of state. Like, we're like blood relatives, but, you know, if they're going to put they're that blood shit. blood relatives. If they're like going to babysit put, the kids. Yeah regularly but if we're gonna put that shit in our bodies then fuck them in their mouths we don't want nothing to do with that no they went on vacation and they ordered it like we it, like at family gatherings and stuff we don't do that shit we do burgers and hot dogs and on occasion ribs or like christmas time ham and turkeys and chickens we never do crawdads. Mom and Dad don't like crawdads. Well, in all honesty, like, my mom fucking hates crawdads. Like, just hates the piss out of them. But, uh, then my dad likes, well, stepdad, same difference, likes them. Uh, All right, I understand that we're talking about crawdads and shit like that, but I just for for just a second, let's just pretend like I'm also playing a video game and let's just <laughs> just focus on the screen for like two sec. Fucking, this is the boss. Never mind. Fucking, go back to what you're saying. I'm not. I can't even do it. <coughs> like, mom and dad are very biased. Not biased, but they're very set in their ways. If it has to do with like fish, like any sort of fish, crabs. Lobsters, whatever. Nine out of ten, they won't even try it with an open mind. Dad does not like fish. The other day when he this was... This one time at summer camp, did a fish touch him? No, Dad just doesn't like fish. So this one time back in 78 in summer camp. In <laughs> 78. That's funny because Dad was born in 74. Dad was born in 74? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, my mom was born in 69, so that's not... Mom was born in 72. Oh, she's old. Your mom's older. I know. <laughs> I got super defensive there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could hear that, but I did. It's like, holy fuck. I, I, here's the thing. Like, I realize that you're talking about... Like, are you realizing how badass that this boss is? Have you looked at the screen in, like, a while? I'm staring at it. Just because I'm sitting on the bed away from you doesn't mean I'm not watching you. I, I thought, personally, that that boss was bad fucking ass. Bad ass. Bad ass. Bad ass, motherfucker. And it has a clear code. This is one of those videos. This is back in the day when you couldn't save shit. You just had passcodes like this. <laughs> clear password. What happens if you get that? Forget that. You just have to start over. Yep. Yeah. Can you, can you, can you, can you, can you be the, um, 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 yellow? Yellow? Yeah. The Asian bitch? Yeah. Asia! Motherfucker. We were just talking about kimchi. Bitch. So, I'm sure that she knows karate. That's racism. That's reverse, <laughs> that's reverse racism, because that's like positive racism. That's like saying... Like, if I was like, oh, she's bad at driving, that's racist. But if I was like, hey, she's good at math and can kick people in the head. Like, I feel like that's, like, positive racism. I feel like that's the sort of stereotypes that we need Hold to be. Hold on. Are you saying she's a bad driver because of her race or because she's a female? Oh, I think I can say the whole female thing and that's not really so a bad that's deal. So, sexism. Yeah, that's, that's, well, chauvinism, yeah. So like specifically, that... specifically chauvinism, because if you're a man, then it's like extra bad. Like if a woman says that, then it's not, it's not a big deal. That's just sexism. But if a man says it, then it's chauvinism. Like it's extra. So is it just her that's bad at driving or am I bad at driving too? Because if I'm bad at driving, I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go get your tasty beverages. Oh, I thought you were gonna be like, we don't have to go on that trip early tomorrow morning, and I was gonna be like, oh, really? We don't? That's rough. No, we're going on our trip tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. So it's kind of the last hurrah before school starts. Ah, the hurrahs. I think you would really like it there, and I know the my older two, the two I birthed, they like it there. Jazzy was 
itty bitty. Whenever okay. I took her. So again, <laughs> names. <laughs> I noticed as soon as I said it. Second of all, um. I think we could have fun on the way down there. I'm gonna sleep. You can help me with the children. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. Um. <laughs> your dad, you have to. I don't. Uh, that's. Nope, they came out of your vagina, so. Feels like a you problem. <laughs> Just a hard, cold stare. Just so we're clear, this is starting to get real enough that people are going to think we're actually fighting. And if your response is, we are, motherfucker, like, then we need to we're calm not? it down. I don't think so. <laughs> I wasn't ready to be recorded on fighting. This is... This, this went from a Let's Play to a Jerry Springer episode, and I wasn't trying for that. <laughs> what I was getting at is that you could look up, like, little fun facts and engage the kids in it. As, as you like to call them, what were they? Straight river pirates? What were they called that you left at? Pirates that the were river pirates. So they just, they you, you just pirate in a straight line? Like you can't, that, that's like a serial killer who only runs people over in trains. So like, I got you, bitch, as long as you stand on the tracks. <laughs> like that's. Like, that's the craziest notion that I've ever heard of. I think it's really cool. And I have a really good memory whenever I was a kid. I'm not even a kid. I was like a teenager. It was, it's one of my favorite memories with my Uncle Grim. The one I told you that passed The away. one that wrote all the fairy tales? The wow. one that passed away last year that would tell me all these silly jokes. And I would screenshot them and send them to you. Well, it's sad that he passed away, but it would have been way cooler if you had ended that with he used to write a bunch of fairy tales. Oh, uh, took me a second. Sorry. Yeah, Grimm's fairy tale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's I got the. It now. Yeah, it's. See, I wasn't like, make, I wasn't saying awful shit about your dead uncle. <laughs> Baby, I have a hangnail. I need help. It's gonna hurt. I had a hang now forever. This fucking sucks. No, uh, whenever Chrissy was alive, they came down once, and we went there to the destination that is not known to you guys. Well, you've so. listed almost everybody's name in the whole fucking family while we've been talking, well, so it's just. Grim isn't his name, obviously, so bite my butt. And I said one child's name, and it's not even her real name. So, again, kiss my chushy. But it's just one of the first places that Uncle Grim went with me and my family. And my Aunt Chrissy before Aunt Chrissy passed away. And it's just a really nice little memory. And I have pictures of my older two there. And there's pictures of my siblings and I there. It's just a nice little memory I could pass on to our kids, I think. If they'd like pirates and whatnot. I mean, yeah, I... I feel like you're trying to sell me on an idea where, in this metaphor, the fish is already in the boat. I've already been sold. I was sold when you said it. I'm the one that likes to go on hikes and shit. That's the one thing I wish that we would do more often. Does the man rather stay at home? Oh, I don't. If I mean, I don't like to leave my house, but if I absolutely had to leave my house. Well, stop it. 
Okay. Stop bleeding now. That didn't work. Remember that friend of mine that was, uh, in a motorcycle accident? The kid just got dead? Yes. He's, uh, a lot better, apparently. He doesn't need that second surgery on his hip. He's actually back at work. He's been back at work for almost a month now. That's a good thing. Uh, T called me the other day. Last Sunday? I don't know what day it was. We had all the children with us. It was the day that you took the littlest and went inside Walmart. She called me while you were inside Walmart. And, uh, their oldest is going to Princess's school. Old school. Little Lions. Yeah. He's going there. And she was really nervous about it and asking all those questions. Asking all them questions. Asking, asking all, all them questions. questions. By the way, I know she's not going back there since we moved and whatnot. Uh, Mom and Dad got a letter from them saying that she has been accepted into the AM session. AM session of what? At that school that she went to. Like oh, before. the fuck, that fucking, yeah, I, 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 whatever, I didn't care for that place anymore. I feel like the school we're trying to put her and the little one in. The little, the little two. What are we calling them, the littles? I feel like the school we're trying to put the littles in is more of a daycare than a school, though. I feel like that's what school is. From like first grade through high school, it's just a daycare. It's just a daycare. That's all there is. That's all that you do. That's all that those people do. I firmly believe that my entire career as a student, I was babysat while my parents went to work. I learned nothing. What I wanted to learn, I learned on my own. What I was forced to sit in class and attempt to absorb, I retained none of. And I don't think it was helpful. I mean, like, I talk about, like, the people that I consider to be, like, entrepreneurs, like, even the people that do this stuff, like, on YouTube and things like that, or the people that have owned small businesses around here that even own small businesses around here, or the people that are managers at places that I would like to be manager at. Uh, in most cases, they only graduated high school, and in several cases, they didn't even graduate high school. I mean, like Grandpa Chalk. I mean, like Grandpa Chalk. He graduated sixth grade. I mean, like I. It's a. It's a glorified daycare from beginning to end. It's. It teaches you how to socialize with other human beings. And as long as you know how to do that, I think the rest of it's irrelevant. Let them boobies free. <laughs> there is some aspects of school where it's just... It's babysitting, I think you're right on that. Are we going to list this as the heartfelt episode where we just tell people about our basic lives and this is just a just an uh, after supper discussion? Oh. oh my god, look at the guy here whooping. That's <laughs> <laughs> your dinner. Dinner was six hours ago. Yeah, I'm, until dinner's coming up. 
I think it's always an after thing until right before the next one happens. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then it's after again. And then it's just before then. Oh, just before. The one thing I will say that, like, I talk about in these uh, videos, especially when I do them by myself, is, and, you know, I, I don't know how much that you pay attention to it, but the, just, it's, Hold on, are you talking to me or them? Did you, you're the only one in the room with me. Well, I didn't know if it was kind of like a... It's not a heart-to-heart -heart with people that ain't around. You know, you're having a heart-to-heart -to -heart with me, I was... Checking out my goodies. I saw that too. Anyway, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I just it, and I realize you're talking about a lot of stuff, and I do think that like in some aspects of this, that people are gonna in like just like to hear the, the, just a discussion, and some of it was funny, interesting, different, and then they got the video game in the background for sure. Um. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but, and this is just a beat em up, but I'm tear assing through this game. Uh, tear assing? What? Yeah. Tear assing through this game. Tear assing. Yes. I thought I heard it wrong, apparently. You heard it totally I heard it Totally wrong. correct! Oh, this guy's a douche. I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it! I gotta pause it! Oh, he's gonna hit me. You need a bathroom break? Jerk. Or drink of your tasty beverage. Both? The answer is both. Oh, it is both. Keep dun, everyone entertained dun, dun. for like a second. It's been a damn second. More than that. And then we'll discuss the what I was gonna say about the video game. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just sit here and have my horrible sick voice over everything. Because I know how to keep people entertained over the internet. He's gonna watch that and think I've gone crazy. So for dinner, we made it's kind of like a crazy night. Uh, we made, what was it called? Meatball sandwiches. I don't know what to talk about. Just tell about tonight? I was just like, uh, duh. Uh, so tonight, we made meatball sandwiches. Well, like, I've never watched a YouTuber where he just, like, from the beginning to the end of the thing, he was just like, okay, so today I woke up. I brushed my teeth. And you left me alone. <laughs> you can't. All right, let's see if we can beat the shit out of this guy. Um, what I was gonna say with the the whole thing about this is, it, especially Nintendo games, you see it sometimes like Sega games and stuff like that. But like these Nintendo games, and that's why I was kind of hoping that you were paying attention to the. Uh, yeah, to the screen here is that uh, it's just a really cool. Uh... And who says I haven't been paying attention? What you would me? What you would call <laughs> like Nintendo polish? Like just really nice. Like, for instance, when I hit him, even though it's really small, the way that he moves, everything on his entire body moves, including his hair, like it waves behind him as he gets hit. And it's just little things, and then like the animations that they do, and the, the ripples of muscle on him, and it's just, it's a... 
I just always thought that it was... I got fucked up. Oh! I don't like that. That's dumb. Oh, God. He's everywhere, honey. Yeah, it's bad. So does that mean you're beating him and he's just trying to hurt you? Yeah, this is the final stage of the, this boss fight. I didn't remember it being this difficult, but... I very clearly... I have the reflexes of a dead cat. That's good. Man, if he can't do it, great! <laughs> I had Robin Williams in my head for a second, sorry. He's our man. Barge, far, he's our man. If he can't do it, great! You know. Never mind. Aladdin? Yeah! Damn it! Didn't I say Aladdin? No. You said I had Robin Williams on the brain. And then yeah, I had to try to... because it's Genie. I know that, but how many different roles has Robin Williams played? And it wasn't until you said Jafar that I knew which movie that it was. Oh. <laughs> it's like I had Robin Williams on the brain, and then you just say, like, a Robin Williams thing. Like, I would just say, like, a Jim Carrey thing, and you're like, uh... So, of the 47 movies that we've seen him in... I can't beat this guy. I'm very upset with myself. That um, sucks. Hey, babe. What? I don't think I told you thank you for watching my blanket. <coughs> so thank you You're for welcome. washing my blanket. Hey, so soft. Maybe with it washed, I'll stop hacking so much. I know it doesn't make sense, but I don't need a reply. But in my mind, it's gonna work. I'm just focused on the, the, the game that I'm doing. They're break balls. I don't know. <laughs> oh, rake ball man. <laughs> rake ball man. Oh. You fucker. Huh. Some other time, we may come back to this. Because I enjoy this game like a whole, whole bunch. Are you going to write it down? Uh, that's sort of your job. Oh, my job. <laughs> but I think we are just about done. So this is Cat. And Baby Girl. And this is I Like the Games. And over and out, kids. Over.